A growth is sucking the life out of my knockout rose. The growth is deep plum in color. There are no thorns. The stems are hollow and it grows small, funny shaped roses, sometimes a whole different color. If I don't continuously cut off the growth, it will kill my bush. And this is from Francis. Huh? Oh, sucking the life out yeah. of the knockout rose. I uh, bet you we know what that I'm, is, don't we? I'm afraid that oh. the life has already been taken away from the rose. Bad news. Very bad news. Mm. Unfortunately, she has the rose rosette virus. Yes. So, yes. I mean, it's, it's through the whole system. There's nothing she can do for it. There's, there's yeah. just dig it up and I, I, I wouldn't even suggest putting another rose yeah. in that place for a while um, because it's just, there's no cure for that, but there's hope. Yeah, there's hope. I mean, yeah, our, uh, you know, folks there in Nashville, mm -hmm. our entomologists and plant pathologists are actually doing some experiments, right? They are. Uh, with Rose Rosette mm -hmm. and what, Cumberland Plateau, I think. I believe so. Yeah. I think uh, hundreds and hundreds, hundreds of, of roses, of roses right. trying to determine, you know, well, studying. Right. And the vector for it is a, a small mite. Right, so areified mite is what it is that's causing, you know, that problem that's carrying the virus. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, we tell people to dig it up. Yeah, and as soon, if you can, the sooner you start seeing that and the sooner you get the plant up, the less it will affect other plants and the other, especially if you have more than one rose. Right, for sure. I've had this problem in my own landscape. Uh, I've said many a times I have a lot of roses at home. I've lost at least four or five. Uh -huh. due to the rose rosette virus. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, and what you're seeing there <coughs> is the excessive vegetative growth, right. which can be any color of red, you know, yes. for the most part. It doesn't necessarily have to have all the thorns or excessive thorns. Yes. Uh, but yeah, when you see that flush of vegetative growth that looks real bunch-like. Yes. Witch's broom. Yeah, right? witch's broom. It's yeah. rose rosette. And it's usually, they're usually a red or a wine color. It is. Just yeah. like, I'm, but it's, it's sad. It is, it is. And it's a problem. It's not just here. It's oh, all sure. over the right. country. Yeah, so everywhere. they're they're really mm -hmm. aggressively trying to find a cure for the the vector. Right. And keeping the vector off from infecting the roses. But yeah. as a lot research, of research as research comes right. out, we will let everybody know. We will know. let folks know. There's a lot of research being done. Done. I think Texas A&M Extension mm -hmm. uh, is helping our folks out here with UT Extension. And uh, yeah, as soon as they find out something, they let us know. They'll let us and know. we'll let you know. We hope you love the video. We would love for you to ask more questions. Be sure to leave those questions in your comments.